it's your girl Angel Summer X and welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk to you guys about the mod conflict detector now before I get into this video there's a few things that you should know about this uh, mod before you de decide to download it or use it number one thing is that you need to make sure that it's all contained within a folder on your desktop you want to have the mod the application and its extensions because if you don't have all the application and all of its extensions together, then Mod Conflict Detector will not open. So you can put it in a folder and place it on your desktop. Or if you want to have the application out in the open, you will have to have the application extensions on your desktop screen as well. So to save some space, I created a folder and I was still able to open up um, the mod conflict detector. I didn't think it was going to work in a folder, but it does just as long as you have the application and its extensions all together in one, then it will work. So here I have the mod conflict detector already open and I've already scanned my mods. But as you can see on the left hand side, we have the scan directory and we are under the scan results. So when you come to the scan directory, <clears throat> uh, you have the option only to scan the whole mods folder. Useful for the routine checkup of all your mods and this will be great for when I do my monthly uh, routine of cleaning out my mods folder and things like that. So this is going to be helpful and actually I'm going to be discussing my monthly routine in a future video. So the mods folder is already selected but if you wanted to select a different folder or a specific folder within your mods folder then you would uh, click select uh, dir dir I guess um, <clears throat> or and search sub dears is already checked off <clears throat> or but that means I think that means folder we can assume that that means folder I'm pretty sure and here at the bottom on the left hand side is, is where it says scan level says delayed scan or find duplicates not sure what the delayed scan does but i checked off find duplicates because i i do know that i have some duplicates i'm pretty sure i have some duplicates within my mods folder so you want to go go ahead once all of that is done come over to the right hand side and click scan okay <clears throat> okay so i'm not too sure what happened i think it was because of this uh file loading error over here it didn't want to scan so what I did was I kind of went back and just started over on it so and it went ahead and scanned so as you can see we have some items that are in gray and it tells you if it's a con if there's a conflict or not whatever's in gray that says ready means that it's totally fine there's nothing wrong with it it's good to go however we do have some mod conflicts here which are shaded in blue <clears throat> so whenever you see like a mod conflict um, or game modifier well it'll mainly tell you if it's a mod conflict so if you see a mod, co mod conflict you might want to maybe consider removing it from your game because that would mean that uh, it's going to give you problems in the future so and I have some more mod conflicts as well this is the entirety of my mods folder. So this scanned even my subfolders, <clears throat> which you can drop down from the mods and see all of my subfolders I have here on the left hand side. So if I click on uh, the BTS folder, which is for my BTS save, it scanned everything and everything in this folder is good to go. I have clothes my clothes folder there are some conflicts within here I'm pretty sure there might be some duplicates we have the furniture folder we have some mod conflicts here I have a couple of folders within this folder not gonna lie and you could just basically go through each of your folders if you have subfolders and go through if it's easier for you instead of going through the entire mods folder and looking for uh, conflicts or duplicates or anything of that nature to kind of show you guys now here's one thing that I want to kind of bring your attention to this kind of like white creamish color that uh, 
it's a log file it's unknown and it hasn't been analyzed this is the command mc command center log you don't want to touch this you, you want to leave this alone uh, but anytime you see this creamish color it just means that it's not a recognized generally recognized file you might have a document or a picture that might have ended up in your game some kind of way and so that's basically what it is uh, also please note that I will not exactly analyze the script files and it won't analyze the CFG file but it's not highlighted it isn't gray, so it means that the script is okay now I do have a package that belongs to extreme violence mod that is a mod conflict however the script for it has not been analyzed but it is in gray so I'm I think it would be safe to assume that uh, the script file is okay so let's see oh I have uh, a faulty mod that was that was the error here so we're gonna have to get rid of that so faulty mod hasn't been analyzed um, and it was highlighted in red so that means that it's broken and testing which is my halo contour kit and it's fine there's nothing wrong with it which is good <laughs> it's good to know even on your own custom content that you created <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the Nero shoes and when you right click it and choose to delete it will take you to this screen right here that says these files will be deleted choose how to delete them <clears throat> so this is the file I selected it says that it's a faulty mod and it's not been analyzed but it was highlighted in red you can either move it to the recycle bin delete permanently or skip it we're gonna go ahead and delete it permanently and then this will pop up are you sure you want to permanently delete this file of course we're gonna click yes and um, then on the left hand side it will tell you scan results may have been changed a rescan is advised so anytime you change something within the scan results you I would recommend you go do go in and do a rescan but I would probably wait until after you clear out all of your mod conflicts and bro uh, broken mods if any and then go back and do the rescan but anyways guys i will leave a link to the mod conflict detector in the description down below if you guys are interested this will probably be useful for some of you who are, cannot understand the last exceptions or um don't want to do the 50 50 alternative method this could be something useful for you i will be showing this again in my monthly routine my monthly cc maintenance routine that will be on monday but anyways guys please don't forget to uh leave a like drop a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already please be sure to turn on notifications so that you can be notified of my next upload i hope you guys have a great day wherever you may be and i will see you all in my next video bye guys